uh, who will be uh, very, very interested to find out more about your life, your culture, your language, and will be uh, very happy to socialise with you. I'm sure the, uh, the people listening in Queensland will, will uh, agree with me. Uh, Australians love a party, and the young Australians like them very much, and they will welcome you uh, to all the social events as well. Uh, our agreement that we've reached uh, with your institution here is already starting to bear fruit. The University of Queensland will welcome a PhD student, Nadia Kolesnik, uh, from uh, MBU uh, early in 2010. Uh, Nadia is the recipient of the University of Queensland Faculty of Arts and International Office Scholarship. Nadia is here with us today, so I officially congratulate her on receiving that and say how much we're looking forward to having Nadia with us uh, next year. Uh, Queensland is uh, building many links with Russia. Uh, we have been regular visitors here. We have a number of companies that are now doing business here in Russia. So for those, uh, such, those students who are sitting in Queensland listening to this lecture, can I encourage you in your study of Russian culture and Russian language as we build more and more links across the world. Language will be one of the most powerful uh, connections between people. And uh, Queensland's uh, activities uh, with Russia at government level and at business and trade level, as well as uh, tourism and exchanges, is growing uh, every year. So there are many things that you can be part of if uh, you look with yourself to really building on your Russian language skills. Can I uh, just thank all of you for coming along today to encourage you to think about visiting Queensland, to think about visiting Australia, uh, and to say uh, we are doing everything we can to help make that possible as part of your studies. So, ladies and gentlemen, I congratulate the University of Queensland. I congratulate the Moscow State University. Uh, we look forward to seeing a steady stream of students between our two countries, uh, and I think this is a very powerful connection that you've made using the technology that will allow you to build on these skills. So thank you, and I'm very happy to hear from you. Centre at UQ in 2010. 
Let me take this opportunity to thank the Premier and the Government, as well as Professor Tamina Soba and her team at Moscow State University for their roles in Queensland's Russian Renaissance. I'll now hand over to Ludmilla in Moscow. Thank you. And please raise your hand. The best question to the Premier can apply. Please welcome. and it was a short-term study. We appreciate it greatly. And I'd like to use this opportunity to uh, say hello and to say thank you to the administration of your university. And besides, I know that you, Anna, have graduated from the university, this university, yes? And is this the first time when the uh, premier of the state is a woman? Am I right? Yes. Yes. How do, uh, yes. So how do you feel? I mean, uh, have you got, uh, have you come across any obstacles, any problems on your way as a woman ruling the state? Thank you very much. I think that is a very interesting question. Uh, I was first elected to the Queensland Parliament in 1995, and. Uh, during the time that I have been in Australian politics, the number of women who are involved at all levels, uh, municipal, state and national, has changed dramatically. When I first went into the parliament, uh, there were, I think, were less than five women out of 89. Uh, there are now uh, almost 40%. Uh, and that is true of just about every parliament in Australia. And in the last, really the last five years, we've seen more women take up senior positions. There have been two other women be premiers of states uh, in Australia, uh, but I am the first Australian woman uh, to be elected to the position uh, at a general election, and uh, to have led a party at an election into the position. We now have uh, a woman who is uh, the Deputy Prime Minister of our country for the first time. We have a woman uh, as the Governor General of our country for the first time. So all of these firsts have happened in a very, really short period of time. I would say I did encounter many hurdles in the early years when there were so few women, but there are now so many, almost half, that uh, women are not a novelty so much anymore. It's, you know, there are still from time to time, I think it's different that the public judges women in public life differently and sometimes maybe a little more harshly. Uh, but I think it, that it is, it's been a very interesting time in my country uh, for the role of women in public life. Uh, we see women like Margaret Toomey as the ambassador to Russia. When I grew up in Australia, things like that would not have been even thought about. And I suspect Margaret would never have thought it possible when she was growing up. So our country has changed a lot in really the last 20, 30 years. But the last five years have seen many women who have been working for a long time really get to the next level. So. And many countries around the world are going through this in one way or another. Thank you very much. Um, thank everyone for coming, and I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm pretty sure that everyone is tempting to stick to politeness, but in modern Russian. Now, uh, welcome, uh, Mira Barisova, and um, you're welcome to continue with your lecture. And uh, I have to say thank you again, and our delegation. Unfortunately, I have to go to another meeting, and uh, please, we have to leave you. Thank you very much, everyone.